Hi, I'm Dr. Rostetter from Pets and Stitches. This video will review general post-operative guidelines for a male dog neutered at Pets and Stitches. If your pet was neutered elsewhere, please refer to that facility's guidelines since they may be different. When you get your male dog home, please take a look at the surgical incision. Today is normal. A little bit of redness and swelling may set in, that's fine, but if it changes dramatically in any way, please let us know. He may have some discharge from his surgical site for the next day or two. It shouldn't be a drip drip of blood, but if he sits down, you may see a smear of blood somewhere, and that should subside with time. I do uh, recommend that you put some ice in a hand towel and apply it to his surgical site for about 10 minutes out of every hour the rest of today. Do not let him lick at his surgical site. Hopefully you purchased a post-operative collar to help prevent that. If he manages to get around that or find some other way to irritate the incision, please let us know. His sutures are dissolvable, so he does not need to return for a suture removal. And we do have pictures on our website of normal and abnormal healing incisions that may help you judge how things are healing. It is extremely It is extremely important that you limit his activity for the next seven days. He should be kept in a cage or a small room like a bathroom, taken out on a short leash to do his business and come right back in. Um, some, some dogs may need some go-home sedation. If you did not purchase that and you're having problems keeping him quiet, please contact us to discuss that. Um, feed him tonight like normal. He may or may not want to eat, but he should be eating to, um, by the next morning. He also may be tired when he gets home. He may be overreacting to normal sounds and lights, and that's okay. That's the anesthesia and be wearing off. I do recommend that you keep children and other pets away from him, which if he's being confined shouldn't be an issue. He could be a little unpredictable. He does have a tattoo near his scrotum to identify him as neuter. It's messy, it's smeared, but when it heals in a few weeks, it'll be a small green line. Please be aware that he can still impregnate a female up to one month after surgery, so take any appropriate precautions you need to. If by any chance you're concerned that the go-home pain medicine you purchased is not doing its job, please contact us. Do not give any over-the-counter pain medications. They can be toxic to dogs. Most every time surgery goes fine, but if any of the following occur, please let us know. Depression. Lethargy lasting more than 24 hours, pale gums, vomiting, diarrhea, discharge or bleeding from the surgical site more than what I described, uh, difficulty urinating or labored breathing. Our office hours, you can reach us at 937-630-3320. You can also email me a picture of a surgical site if you're concerned how it's healing at the email on the back of your postoperative sheet which is contact at petsinstitches.com. Please include the requested information. We can legally only provide post-operative support to our own patients. Our staff does carry an on-call cell phone till 10 p.m. Monday through Saturday. That phone number again is on the back of your post-operative sheet. If for some reason you can't get a hold of us or you think your situation can't wait, you can contact one of the two local emergency clinics. One is the Dayton Care Center at 937-428-0911. The other one is MedVet at 937-293-2714.